basketball, and what are you, Q, you must have a hobby. What? A hobby? My hobby? Art. Oh, I usually make electronic circuits. Electronic circuits? Yeah. Um, Electronics, that sounds better. Yeah. Electronics. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Not a good hobby. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Right. And your hobby? Exercise. Good. Right. And you play for a team? Yeah. No. 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 Just, just play I'm for... Fit. Keep fit. Keep fit. Right. Your photography, is it, you specialise? Do you specialise in taking photos of people, places, things, objects, anything? Yeah. So, you, you, you're not specialising in... Uh, that's cool. right, so anything, anything of oh, yes. right, photography, general. I love the towel. General. Yeah. Right. That, that means anything, yeah. anything, everything and anything. General. General photography. Yeah. Right. Um, basketball for exercise. Yeah. Yes. And electronics for work, mm. in educational interest. Your personal, um, personal interest. Yeah, personal not, interest. Not, not for work, not for work. Actually, actually um... You house it, house it. <laughs> yeah. Except your work and you take your work home. A, a, a little bit yeah. in, in, in the work. Yeah, at electronics at work and at home. When you finish work, yeah. you're still working. Yeah. Yes, right, so it's electronics is... Interest. General interest. Personal. Yeah. It's a personal interest subject. Hobbies. My hobbies. Many, many, many hobbies. At the moment, Postcards, oh yeah, postcards, I like postcards and stamps, yeah. postcards and stamps. I've left them all behind, I'll bring them with me next time. So, so postcards, stamps and, and postcards. Some postcards. So, photography for you. Yeah. Right, but I buy them already taken. Yeah. I buy them already. I don't take photos. Not anymore. I used to. I used to like photography. Um, with a small, very small camera. Put it in your pocket. Yeah. In Instamatic. Instamatic. Very popular. Long, long time ago. These cameras were very good. Telephoto lens, flash, and it was not expensive. Not expensive. About um, about a thousand baht. Less, less than one thousand baht for one of these cameras, and it was so so good. It was like this, bit bit bigger than this, maybe like that, about that size. Of it. A little bit thicker. Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit thicker. Yeah. yeah, and that was the camera, and it was great. Great, I used to like it. Easy to carry, right? Um, very strong, reliable. Yeah, I used to like it. And then they stopped. They stopped making them. 
it all went back to um, the old the old fashion types yeah, the yashikas and cameras like that with big lenses on them and mm, I didn't want that I was happy to have something like that easy to carry easy to use no problem but they stopped it they stopped it probably too popular the big cameras the cannons and those, oh. yeah, 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 Yashika yeah, and all those. They, I'm now back in fact, I don't like those cameras, I don't like them. No. I, I prefer something easy to carry, easy to use. And ah, oh, you remember Polaroid? Yeah, yeah. Polaroid, where are they now? Where have they gone? <laughs> there, they used to be so popular. Polaroids, yeah. yeah. Now, all gone. They weren't expensive. Yes. Perhaps that's why. They want you to buy a nice expensive camera. If I have an expensive camera, I will boom, drop it. I'll lose it. Oh, where did I put my camera? Uh -huh. Yeah. So I have something that is not expensive. Not too expensive. And now they've all gone, so I can't buy postcards. Lots of postcards. All the temples, yeah, oh, and places in Bangkok, um, Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai. Uh, you don't have to go there now, you can buy the postcard. I've not been to Chiang Mai, but I've got a postcard of Chiang Mai. <laughs> right, I'm going to put this back on now, it's getting a bit hot. Right, now we did this one last time, didn't we? Greetings. When people greet each other, meet each other, greet each other. Uh, I don't think we're bothering any more of those. Uh, oh, who's that? Oh, complete these questions. Who is that? Who's that? What's that? Oh, oh that's Miss... That's Miss West. Yes. That word, oh, is not necessary. It's just a... Just a way of starting a sentence that makes it sound a bit easier. Oh, that's Miss West. But somebody, that's Miss West. So it just breaks up the, the sentence, makes it sound, makes it sound a bit more friendly. Oh, that's Miss West. Yeah, so who's that over there? Oh, that's Miss West. Right, number two. Where is she from? So where is she from? Where is she from? She's from Miami. Yeah. Well, some people say Miami. Miami. Number three. What is her? Yeah. What's her first name? It's Celia. Number four. What? Oh. Was, uh, who? Who uh, are? Yeah. Who are the two students over there? Who are? Who are the two students? So it'll be who are? Who are the two students? Who are? Who are? Who are? Who are? Who are? Who are the two students over there? Their names are. Jeremy and Karen. Now the next question, where, where are they from? 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 Oh, sorry. Yes, where are they from? They're there, there, there. This one I usually say they are. There, there. Americans can say it because they have a, a, a different accent. There, there, there. But English people say they are. They are. They are. They are. They are. And they are. The same, the same word but sounds different. 
there, there, there from Vancouver, Canada. Now the next question is, what are they like? What are they like? What are they like? What are they like? What are what are what are what are what are what are they like? 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 So not what do they like? No. What are they like? 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 They are shy. They are shy, but very friendly. Good. So greetings, greetings from around the world. You shake hands with people. Europe, shake hands. Okay, you shake hands in Europe and USA. A bow. A bow. Mm. Japan, Japan. Yeah. Say, 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 Asia, in, in, in Asian countries, yeah. Um, Korea. Yeah, Far East. We'll yeah. say like the Far East Asia. Because Asia begins in in Europe, Asia. Turkey, yeah. Um, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, and Kazakhstan. Tajikistan, you find out how many countries they've got the name Stan, 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 Pakistan, Afghanistan, yeah, Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, many, many countries with Stan. Yeah. At the moment we know Afghanistan, but there's many other countries. Turkmenistan, Turkmenistan. Yeah, that goes to China, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkistan. They call it Turkistan. It's Turkmenistan. Oh, there it is. Turkmenistan, Turkmenistan, Turkistan, Uzbekistan. Ooh, there's a lot of stands there. Stan. So the next one is a kiss on the cheek. Kiss on the cheek. I think that's many, many places yeah. now. Many places. It used to be somewhere, maybe. I'm trying to look at this, see how these people are dressed. What are they wearing? Continental clothes. It looks like continental. Not uh, Europe. Continental. Not, not Asian. Not Asian clothes. Somewhere, somewhere in Europe, that might be a good idea. Yeah. So, some, somewhere in Europe, it might even be Russia. It might be Russia, because Ru Russia is in Asia, right? Russia, ha, some in Europe, but most of Russia is Asian. A hug, a hug. I think this is uh, Spanish. Yeah. It's uh, and it probably goes into. Into these countries as well, Latin America, okay, and into South America, hugging people. Yeah. A hug. And a pat on the back. A pat on the back. This looks like Mexicans to me. Yeah. Mexicans or somewhere like here, Colombia. So, Central, Central America, Central America. We've got North America, Central America, South America. And in Thailand? Why? Yeah, I said, yeah, Thailand. Why did they put it in here? Hmm? <laughs> Should be in this book. Right. Uh, what else? Some people, greetings, greetings, people wave. That's a greeting. Hi, hi, how are you? Right here, yeah. that's Europe, European, yeah. and um, probably America as well. Yeah. So we can't say just, just one place anymore, one country, we can identify how people react 
to say hello, hi, whatever. Can be anywhere, man, anywhere. Right, now the next one is on page five. Conversation. How's it going? How's it going? Somebody wants to know about how how are you? Yeah, how are you? How's it going? How's it going? That's now, today, alright? They see you today, not for tomorrow, not for yesterday. Just say, how's it going? Hey David, how's it going? Fine, but I like I usually say alright. Right now, alright. This is actually a word, a correct word, but I notice now a lot of people put all right. It shouldn't be. This is not all right. This is all wrong. That is all right. That is the correct way. You put the words, these two together, all right? So it's all right, all right, all right. Not all right. Yes. It's all right. Everything's all right. How are you? All right? Good. <laughs> so, hi, hey David, how's it going? All right, thanks. That's what I would say. All right, thanks. Americans are using this word. Fine, fine, fine. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Fine, thanks. How are you? How are you? It's so easy now. How are you? 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 It's just one one word all the time now. How are you? Pretty good. Now that, that's all right. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. That means, yeah, all right. Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry, can you love chemistry? No, I can't. You really love photography. Yes. Yeah, you really love electronics, Q. Yes. Right. And you really love basketball. Yeah, see, we use the word love to mean Roy uh, percent like. You like something extra. Yeah. Ice cream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love ice cream. I really love chemistry. Now, Sunny, she questions that. Chemistry? Chemistry? Not chemistry, no. Chemistry, because it's unusual. Some people don't like chemistry. It's a specialised subject. Chemistry? Hmm. Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. We are not. We aren't. We aren't. We aren't. Another, another problem word. I'll write, I'll write it up, but we'll... No, we are. I'll write it up and then explain how another word sounds the same. Aren't. Yeah. No, we aren't. Her class is in... Oh, no, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. So that's PM, AM, PM. Right, her class is in the afternoon. PM. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Can you can you join me? Would you like would you like a coffee or a tea? So she said, Are you free? She could have said, I'm going to the cafe. Coming? Are you coming? She could say, Oh no, I'm busy now. Alright, so she's going to go to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure! Let's go. So, sure is a good way of saying yes. Sure! Certainly! 
Absolutely! <laughs> Many ways of saying yes. Right. Sure, let's go. Okay, so we're going to go off to the off to the cafeteria. So yes, no questions and short answers with a B. Are you free? Yes, I am. So I am. So I am. Ah, look, so I am.
some people will say, is English class? I mean, is the English, is the English class at 10? Yeah, is the English class at 10 o'clock? No, it's at 11. Okay. They put 1100 here because it can be 24 hour clock. 24 hour clock. And number three, are uh, you and Monique from France? Yes, we come from Paris. We are from Paris. Yeah, we come from Paris. Yes, we are from Paris. So it could be come or are. Come or are. We come from Paris. And number four are um, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Um, Tavares American. No. no, they are Brazilian. They are they are they are yeah that word again. They that's why I always say they are. They are Brazilian. Right, so we'll ask these questions about yourself. Alright. Alright. Oh, are you from the United States? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm from Thailand. Thailand, right. Okay. Q, are you from the United States? No, I'm not. I'm from Thailand. I'm from Thailand. Is your teacher from Canada? No, he's not. He's from, he's from, he's from England. England. Thank you very much, <laughs> Cat. Right. Is your English class in the morning? No. Ah, oh, it might be for you. It might be for you. Do you have an English class in the morning? Yes. Yeah, so you can say yes, <laughs> or you can say no. You can answer it two ways. Yeah. Is your English class in the morning? No, it's in the afternoon. Yes, it is. So your class is. Are you and your best friend the same age? Right, so think then, and your best friend, your best friend, are you the same age? Your best friend, are you and your best friend the same age? Yeah, about. You say nearly, almost, approximately. Yes. You're right. Q, your best friend. You have a best friend, same age yes. as yourself. Yeah, right. Yes, right. You have a best friend, same age. Yeah. Right. And plays basketball. Uh, yes. Yeah, right. That's your partner at basketball. You can play basketball on your own, right, but you really need two or three, four friends, four friends, pass the ball to. You can play on your own basketball, but it's not, not, much, um, not much fun or experience to help. Okay. Okay, that's it then. Uh, anything else we've got? Hello and goodbye. Right, so saying hello and goodbye. Yes. Alright, so we've got to decide which is which is a hello and which is a goodbye. So if you say bye, that means bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Right. And hey means hello. Hey, how are you? Right. Hey, how's it going? Right. 
Hey, what's happening? Good morning. Why are these names popular? And why are 
some names unpopular. All right. Names can become popular because of famous actors. Right. TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest even negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Right, boys' names. George, what's George like? George is average, boring. Hmm. Jacob, creative and friendly. Michael, good-looking and athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. Our girls' names. Betty, old-fashioned, average. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain, ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Right, so names. That first one there, George. You don't like it? Because who's the new baby, the royal baby in England? The new baby, right? Prince Prince William and his wife Kate. Right? They have a baby. Famous on television, right? And the baby is now Prince George. Prince George. They've chosen the name George because George was a very uh, popular king a long, long time ago. And in, in America, there's a place called Georgia, yeah. uh, named after King George III, King George of Georgia, Atlanta, uh, places like that. So I'm not sure the word George, George is, what it says here, average, boring, George. Mm, not sure. Yeah. See, my name's William. William, so do I like my name? Yeah, it's all right. I don't mind it. Uh, what what name do you like? You like your name, or would you like? See, we have two names. I'm William John. William John. So if you don't like your first name, you can have a, use your second. I am. I'm William John. Please call me John. Yeah, if you don't like your or James, I'm William James. Please call me Jim. Jimmy James. Yeah. So we can. If you've only got two names, first name, <coughs> second name, it's difficult. But if you're Christian English, you've got three names, maybe four. So you've got a choice of what name to use. If you don't like one name, and my mother. Rose, uh, yeah, one night, Rose Eileen, but, uh, she was all right, my mother liked Rose, nice, beautiful flower, a rose, yeah, so just like my mum, yes, yeah, so why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. So a name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. So that's good news for all the Georges and Bettys. So my, my two children, right, I've got Melanie, right, and Melanie. Melanie Jane and 
Rosalind, number two. Alma. Alright. So, Melanie was my first daughter, and that was so Melanie Jane. I'm not sure. I, I chose Melanie, I like the word, the sound Melanie, Melanie, and my wife, she picked Jane, I think, for the second. But for my second daughter, I thought of my mother, right? Rose, Rosa, right? So my mum's name was, was Rose, so I thought, oh, Rosa Lee, Rosalie, Rosalie. And that was the my wife's mama, my wife's mother was Alma, her name was Alma, so we called my mother and my ex-wife's mother. So we put the two names onto the birth certificate for my second daughter. So she's happy, right? And Melanie's happy, <laughs> I think. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't complain, right? But uh, it's, it's nice that I've named um, my daughter uh, after my mother. Yes. I'm not sure. It might have been Melanie might have been a, a popular name because of the song by the Beatles. Yeah, the Beatles made a song about Melanie. Yes. Uh, and I think that's probably where it came from. And there was a singer, there was an American singer called Melanie. Yeah, a long time ago. Well, oh, yeah. In the yeah, in the 1960s, right? Nearly 1970. Yeah. So Melanie was a was a nice. It sounded nice, popular name. Uh, so that's it, Melanie and Russell. That's my excuse.